we all remember our first time. No, not that, and not that either. I'm talking about the first time you saw a film that made a lasting impression on you and had a big impact. It didn't even have to be a good film, just something that hit you at just the right way and probably at just the right age. I've actually had a few experiences like that, and that's the topic for today's episode. This is the Kazdoy Closet. I'm Kazdoy, and this is my closet full of all the stuff that I love. And today we look at one of my favorite films from childhood that had a big impact on me and is also on sale right now should you want to purchase it. Well, let's check it out. The film I want to talk about today is X, The Man with the X-Ray Eyes, 1963, a brisk 79 minutes long in color and I want to avoid any spoilers so because this film goes to some unexpected places. I'm just going to give you the brief idea what it's about and what happens. And I guess you could categorize this as a um, sci-fi slash horror film, even though there's nothing violent or gory about it. But it's basically about a, a doctor named Dr. Xavier who develops these eye drops because he believes that humans can only see about one-tenth of the universe and he wants to see everything but well, one of his colleagues says only the gods should be able to see everything and that's one of a few religious allusions made in this film but Dr. Xavier also believes that the eyes are the direct route to the brain and these eye drops have a cumulative effect so it does have an effect on his brain but that's all I'm going to say the director was Roger Corman Roger Corman of course legendary producer-director. He deserves his own episode. Let's just say that he was known for making low-budget films very cheaply, very quickly, and that gave many directors their start, including Francis Ford Coppola, Martin Scorsese, Jonathan Demme, Ron Howard. Um, in this film, he does something very clever, and I think this is possibly Corman's best film, definitely one of his top three, let's say, along with his, some of his Edgar Allan Poe films. But he does something very clever in this uh, so that we can see what Dr. Xavier is seeing. We, we see things from his point of view. And usually he'll use an uh, iris effect, so it's like a round um, eyeball effect like that when we're seeing what he's seeing. And he uses these overlapping uh, colors. And uh, of course, sometimes we see skeletons talking when it's really people. And he, he'll show buildings, but you just see the um, just the basic beams of the building and what he did is he photographed buildings that were still under construction so they looks like they're x-rays of the buildings and yes we have a swinging 60s party dance party and we get to see the people naked but you're not going to see that much because it's 1963. Um, Ray Milan plays Dr. Uh, Xavier Now, when I saw this as a kid which I actually saw this on, on my black and white tv I didn't even know about the color effects, which are kind of psychedelic in a way, but I had no idea who Ray Milan was. Of course, now I know that he won the Oscar for um, The Lost Weekend, and he was so good in Alias Nick Beale, which I did an episode on previously. And uh, later in his career, he made some questionable films such as uh, Frogs and the infamous The Thing with Two Heads, where he played a, a white racist guy who is, uh, whose head is grafted onto the same body as Rosie Greer. I think it was supposed to be a comedy or something. Um, one great thing about this film is we have a supporting role from comedian Don Rickles, and he does uh, uh, shoot off a couple of insults. For, for the most part, it's not comic relief. It's a serious role, and he did play some serious roles in other films like Run Silent, Run Deep, and uh, Kelly's Heroes. And he's really good in this. And uh, yes, if you're a Corman fan, the actor Dick Miller does make an appearance as well. And that's a lot of fun to watch. The cinematographer was Floyd Crosby, who uh, did a lot of films with uh, Roger Corman. And it's probably best known for uh, shooting uh, High Noon. And Floyd Crosby is also the father of singer, songwriter, musician, David Crosby. Uh, I'm going to give this film four and a half eyeballs out of five. It has a lot of nostalgic appeal for me. It's just so unusual and so weird and so unpredictable. And that's why I love it so much. Um, why did it make such an impact on me? 
I think because of those reasons I stated, it was just so odd. I never saw anything like this before. And also the ending. I mean, all these years later, I will never forget that ending. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so what's on this disc? This is a Kino disc. So uh, it is on sale right now. This is being filmed April 12th, 2022. So if you're going to make a Kino purchase, um, you might want to add this to it. It's only like 10 bucks. I think it's twice as much on Amazon. It looks really good. It sounds really good. It's got a few uh, extra features on here. It's got two commentary tracks, including one by Corman himself. It has an introduction by director Joe Dante, who I think Corman also gave a start to. And it has a Trailers from Hell little feature on here as well. And it also has a prologue that I guess they wanted to use for the film, but wisely they didn't because it kind of drags the film down and I think it's totally unnecessary. And interestingly, the credit, the title credit for the film uh, on the film is X, just X, that's all it is. So um, where can you see this? Well, you can buy it, of course. You can rent it. I think it's 99 cents to rent on Amazon if you're curious. And your local library might have it because it's been around for quite a while. So um, X, the man with x-ray eyes, really love it, really recommend it if you like this kind of thing. So feel free to leave a comment or suggestion down here. Maybe there's a film you saw as a kid that made a big impression on you that you'll never forget. Feel free to share that. Feel free to leave a, a thumbs up. Don't leave a thumbs down. Subscribe would be great. Share this with your friends and neighbors. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.